What is happening guys? Mike here, welcome back to the channel. Today we got something a little bit different than what we usually talk about here on the channel. We're talking a little bit about some photography, we got some printing, some stuff to fill up your walls at home, a lot of good stuff. It's also a nice little break for me from the hair content because while I love doing hair content and reviewing, and I know you guys love the hair content, as you guys also know, photography is something that I'm very passionate about and something that I work into my hair content content and every video and occasionally I feel it's appropriate to discuss some of that here and to tell you guys a little bit about some of the stuff that I'm doing in that regard. If you're new to the channel or even if you've been here for a while you may have seen my vlog about a year ago when I traveled to Washington DC. I told you guys my wife and I started a vacation wall here at our house. We filled it with prints from our travels and it's a nice cool collage that goes across our wall. It's a lot of fun to print stuff from our trips and just put it up there so we can remember those trips and you can just say I remember exactly where I was standing when I took that shot. It's a lot of fun. And in looking for something new to add to that wall, I came across this brand called Art Mill. What really caught my eye about them was not only they were printing these awesome panoramic prints, but they were doing them on really nice looking materials and adding frames to them, making them easier to hang and really just giving them this premium look. So I took a shot in the dark and I contacted them and asked them if they were down to collab on a video. No, this isn't a paid sponsorship or anything like that. I know some of you can't function around the word sponsored. So no, this isn't anything like that. I just emailed them and asked them if they'd be down to work together on a video and maybe a panoramic print. And they of course said yes. And then right away it kind of hit me. Okay, now they said yes, I need to get me a photo. I need to take a good photo. I need to find something worthy of these awesome prints. The struggle really was real here for a little bit after I had this awesome idea. Yeah, I'm sure some of you can relate to that. You have an awesome idea, but then now you got to implement it and you're like, well, what am I going to do? You know, a couple of them were okay, but none of them were really that I took, at least around here in Nebraska, were really just standing out to me as ones that I'd want to hang on the wall. But then I went up to Michigan. You guys heard me talk about this in some previous videos. I recently went up to Michigan to visit the Lockharts. We talked about this in a couple of videos, the Paradox video. And while I was up there, I told Steve that I needed to get a good land landscape panorama and he knew exactly where we needed to go. That guy is awesome. He took us up to the Sleepy Hollow National Park and after just stepping out there and just looking around with him and his family, I knew right away this was where I needed to be to get what I was looking for. Now that place was awesome. It was beautiful. It was the perfect place. We were there at the perfect time too, right as the sun was going down and the colors were just exploding across the sky. And I got what I think was a great shot and a nice little panoramic. Now I didn't actually take the panoramic with the drone. That was more just for me to show you guys what was around me and kind of the landscape and just kind of put some footage onto this video. I actually took the panoramic with my main camera right here and this new monopod I got, which is my new favorite piece of equipment at the moment. This thing is like a Spartan spear. It is so awesome. This too is not a product placement, sadly. I don't think this brand even has any idea I even exist, but I came across this monopod. This is made by Manfrotto. I came across this at an awesome camera shop in Michigan. My wife was getting her nails done, so me and my son had about, you know, an hour, hour and a half to kill. And I saw this thing up on the wall, and I was like, that thing is awesome. You see, it can do everything a regular monopod does, except it's also got these extendable feet here that kind of come out. You can set it down and it actually stands up on its own. And it's got this, let me see if I can loosen it up real quick. It's got this fluid moving head down here that allows you to just move your camera around really smoothly, get awesome smooth footage. Also a lot of stabilization for when you need it. And that came in handy when I took this panoramic. So this thing, is is awesome. I've used it on so many things since I got it. So this will be in the description. Again, that's just to help you guys out. More or less me just telling you what I've been using lately because I've been loving the hell out of
inside of this monopod. But back over to this panoramic deal, I posted up on the dock there at the National Park with this guy here, my Spartan Spear, attached to my main camera, the Sony a7R2, which is conveniently equipped with a panoramic mode that is super easy to use. You just kind of start it and then you just slowly move it kind of like this across whatever you're trying to capture. And of course, having the monopod came in very much handy because I'm just, you know, holding it like this and then all I have to do is turn it. I don't really even have to pick it up off the ground because it's got that fluid head and I just turn it like this, came it straight across that landscape captured it just like that. After touching it up, of course, here's what I ended up with. I thought it was pretty good. It was exactly pretty much what I wanted. I wanted a lot of color, wanted a lot of detail. I think it came out pretty good. So now I got my shot and I wanted to get it printed. What I did next was I just sent it off to Art Mill and allowed them to give me a recommendation on what they thought would look best based on the photo and the, you know, the quality of it and everything like that. And what they came back with was bigger than what I expected. It was huge. It was perfect. Perfect though, it fit just perfectly on my wall. And to take this a little step further, you guys know that I love to show things being made. You know, I find a very big artistic value in things being done like that. I am gonna show you guys very briefly how they made this panoramic print. You see the fine guys over at Artmail, really awesome guys. They videotaped some of the processes here. There's things that they can't reveal, but there was a couple of things that they were able to capture, send over to me that I threw up into this video. Let's get a quick look before I show show you guys what exactly I pulled out of the box. Being as Art Mill specializes in high quality panoramic prints, they chose to make an acrylic mountain 60 inch wide by 13 and a half inch tall full size print. And here we can see them cutting the materials and preparing this piece of art. One day really I'd love to get a closer look at this process in person because going from a paper print to being pressed into the acrylic looks like such an interesting process. And really seeing this here doesn't do the final result justice, the vivid colors, the details, the way the acrylic brings out things like the water and the sky, these are things you don't notice until it's up on the wall. Really, I gotta tell you guys, I think this was the perfect addition to my wall. It is right by the front door in my house too. So when people walk in, they immediately see it. They ask about it. It's a conversation starter. It was exactly what I was picturing. And as someone who's hung a lot of photos in my time, this was very easy to hang. It was one of the easiest for sure. Their system is super nice. It's got this track that you just drill onto the wall, you know, with the screws. It's really easy. And then you take the print and just slide it right onto the track. So there's no you know, trying to figure out where the holes are in the back and then you get it on there and then maybe you missed it and it's all, it, it, it's super easy. Just take my word for it. It's really easy. It took me a couple of minutes right up on the wall. No big deal. Needless to say, I'm really amazed at the job that Art Mill did. I think they totally nailed it. I can't believe they were able to print it that big without losing any quality or, you know, making it blurry or anything. It's just incredible in my opinion. Of course, I was able to get you guys a discount if there's anything you're interested in. They have a lot to offer so it's worth looking it over for gifts or decorating your house or business or anything like that. And that discount will be in the description for you guys to check out if you're interested. I've also already been asked once if the panoramic photo that I took specifically is going to be made available for folks to get if they want from Art Mill. And I'd be happy to set that up if you guys are interested. Just shoot me a message on any of my channel social media if you're interested in getting that looked at. You would only have to buy the print from Art Mill directly. I'm not charging at all for the photo that I took. I'd be happy to just just send that over to them and then have them help you get a print for your house or whatever if you're interested. I'm happy to do that. That is it though for today. I appreciate you guys checking out this video even though again it's not hair related. We do need to do this once in a while because like I said this stuff means a lot to me and it is a big part of what I do on this channel besides hair content. So occasionally I will be talking about stuff like that here. Thank you again for checking out today's video and if you enjoyed what you saw today hit that like button there and if you want to see more and you totally should should, then the subscribe button is right down there in, in the corner here for you guys as well. Take it easy. I'll see you next time.